Got the Capri Sun. Got the Honey Bun. Let's get it. All right, what's going on, guys? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In my previous video, I kind of mentioned that my clutch on my car was slipping really bad. And today, I kind of just want to go over how I came to that conclusion and maybe help you guys figure out if your clutch is slipping, if you guys are having a problem with your car and you're not sure what it is. So I'm gonna go over that today a little bit, maybe do like a, a drawing to help you guys kind of visualize what's going on on the internals of the car. Uh, I'm not a professional mechanic, so uh, just take that into your mind when you're watching this video. Um, but I kind of have an idea of what's going on in the internals and I'm gonna try and explain it today to help you guys figure out what's going on if you guys are having a problem with your car and maybe see if it's your clutch that's slipping. Cool, let's get into it. All right guys, so basically the symptoms that my car was having when I came to the conclusion that it was my clutch slipping was I would take off and I would shift into second gear or even third gear, fourth gear, whatever. I would shift up and when I would press back on the gas after letting out the clutch, my RPMs would stay tacked up really high. Now, at first, I thought maybe I was having like a fuel issue, like too much fuel delivery for some reason or something like that. But after driving it for uh, a little while longer, I realized that it was my clutch slipping. Um, so I'm going to go into a drawing to help you guys visualize what went through my mind to help me come to the conclusion that it was my clutch slipping and not some other issue. So let's get into the drawing and hopefully I'll be able to explain to you guys what's going on. All right guys, so instead of me trying to draw out the picture and try and explain all the stuff that's going on, I just figured I'd throw up a picture on screen that I made myself and I kind of go over it uh, step by step to help you guys um, kind of figure out what's going on. And like I said, the RPMs on my car would stay tacked up really high after I would shift a gear. And so we're gonna work from the front to the back, starting with the engine, to kind of see why that was happening. So as you can see here, <clears throat> you got your engine starting at the front and coming out of your engine is your output or your crankshaft. Now connected to your output or crankshaft is your flywheel. And basically that your engine turns your flywheel and the more power you give your engine, the faster it'll turn. And that is measured by your RPMs. When your clutch is engaged or out, the clutch disc is pressed against your flywheel by your pressure plate. Now, when your clutch is in or disengaged, the pressure plate is released and your clutch disc is released from the flywheel. Now, in the center of your clutch disc, there is a gear and when your clutch is pressed against your flywheel and your clutch is turning, that gear in the middle of your clutch disc is what turns your transmission and makes your car go. So basically what I figured out, the reason why my RPMs were staying tacked up really high after I would shift a gear is because the flywheel is turning at, say it's turning at 3000 RPMs. Well, when you shift up a gear and you re-engage your clutch disc, that clutch is gonna put pressure against your flywheel and it's gonna reduce those RPMs, hopefully, or at least that's what would happen in a working clutch assembly. Now, if your clutch is slipping, basically what's happening is that flywheel is still turning at 3000 RPMs and instead of your clutch engaging and grabbing onto that flywheel, it's slipping and that flywheel is still turning at a high RPM. So that was basically what was happening to me is my, I would shift up a gear and instead of the clutch engaging and reducing those RPMs, it would just slip and my RPMs would stay tacked up because that flywheel is still trying to spin and engage that clutch. Now, if you guys want me to go over um, the pressure plate in re relation to where it sits and how it works with the transmission and your clutch fork and engaging and disengaging and all that good stuff, I can definitely go over that. 
And uh, I know th this is a lot of information to kind of all take in at once, but hopefully this picture will kind of help you visualize and see what's going on on the internals of your transmission and engine and everything like that. But I hope it helped. So um, we're going to jump back into a video and I'll close this out. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. I know that was a lot of information to take in all at once, but hopefully that picture helped you guys visualize it a little bit. And uh, feel free to take a screenshot of that or whatever, pause the video, replay it um, as many times as you need to. And uh, hopefully it helped you guys maybe diagnose a problem that your car is having. Uh, if your transmission is slipping, or not your transmission, your clutch, forgive me. If your clutch is slipping and you don't know what it is exactly, hopefully that helped you guys to figure it out. Um, but like I said... If you guys want me to go into a more in-depth video on, say, like the pressure plate and where it sits and uh, how it works with your clutch fork and everything and what happens when you press in and release your clutch and stuff like that, let me know down in the comments for sure. And uh, also leave in the comments if you guys drive a standard or an automatic transmission. I'd really be curious to know. Um, I read a fact the other day. It said that only like 18% of people know how to drive a, auto, a standard transmission, which is crazy to think like how many people there are in the world compared to 18%. Not a lot of people know how to drive a standard, but maybe this guy, this will give you a, a better idea of maybe how a standard transmission works. And uh, who knows, maybe you'll want to go out and learn how to drive one. So thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Like I said, and uh, like the video if you if it, you found it helpful at all and make sure to subscribe please uh, it really helps me out and share the video with your friends if you're any of your friends have a standard transmission car maybe this will help them out too and uh hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys later peace I do I